Oh, that dog, that spool right there, nigga, on my mother, nigga. Hello. Oh, now we get that, so even though we didn't start, but we still get that. Cameras are on. I was just. Donald W. Wyatt, the Federal. To accept this call, press. Zero. I just. Yeah, oh, dog, his baby mama just texted me back. Like, monitoring and recording. Like, okay. Thank you for you know, using Google Telling. That's my brother. Bro. 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 On dog, Bro. I just said, I, I just texted Tazi. Like, she literally just texted me back. I said, tell Moolah, call me. Hey, y'all, I'm at the BNF radio, man. Talk your shit, man. Free my nigga Moolah. Okay, okay. What's popping with you? Man, y'all already know, nigga. I'll be home soon, nigga. Uh -huh. Live from where, bro? Uh, live from the site, nigga. Y'all know how we coming, nigga. <laughs> That dog's still standing, nigga. Y'all know how we coming, nigga. Hey, you want us to get spicy? I got some spicy news for niggas. <laughs> My man got some spicy news. And he's about to send me the. He about to send me a letter with it. Somebody told? So, somebody's giving, somebody don't want no smoke. Tell them who don't want no smoke and who just sent you a letter saying, bro, we on some Massachusetts time. I Tell do him. not want to fight. Tell them. Yeah, Come on, man. You mean? Tell them from this shit, hell. We on some 038 shit. No, we ain't on none of that, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Shit, nigga, y'all know where the fuck I'm from, nigga, ain't shit changed up here, nigga. sent them a letter, talking about no smoke while we on some Massachusetts time, man. Man, friendship. Friendship. <laughs> That's a no-fly zone up here, you heard? How you doing in there? You holding your hat? Uh, yeah, man, I'm chilling, man. Ain't shit, man. I'm way, I'm way, I'm way in the air from these people. I ain't tripping. I'm always missing you, bro. Every time I got an interview, I'm always missing you, yo. Dogs, I be, I be, anytime niggas get an interview, I'll be in the joint, my nigga. We yeah. gonna just have to set up a, 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 a joint interview, nigga. <laughs> 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 on dogs. That on. dogs, nah, but y'all, bro, yo, hold that shit down, my nigga. I love niggas, I'll be home too. Tell them niggas to keep my fucking name out their mouth, nigga. I'm coming, nigga. On that dog. I love you, bro. You know that, bro. I love y'all niggas, bro. I'm gonna hit y'all niggas in the uh, I love you, bro. At least we have an intro. <laughs> Yo, we live, we here, BNF, another fucking interview, man. It's going to be a great motherfucking interview. Um, free my nigga Moolah just called in from the motherfucking feds, man. Um, <clears throat> a lot's been going on, a lot to fucking talk about. We got a special guest with me. I ain't going to introduce him yet. Um, one of the hottest niggas in the motherfucking city. But before I get into all that, I'd like to give a few shout outs. Really don't got no sponsor for this episode or whatever like that. Um, but I like to shout out to a few people. Detailed um decor. I just do a private party and shit like that. Um for Sue and Nancy. That shit was fire. Shout out to Detailed Decor for doing their thing. Shout out to my homegirl Chrissy um for doing the balloons and all that. So that was a dope event. Y'all need to do more private parties. If y'all want to do more private parties, hit up EMG Boston, man. We're going to take care of that. You know, hood parties, we'll do that too. Project parties, I'll do I'll do everything. As long as the budget's right, you know what I'm saying? I'll do everything. But um, we're going to have a great interview for y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's BNF. We had to change the name. It used to be Broke Niggas Frontin'. We getting a different bag now, so it's Broke and Frontin'. You know what I'm saying? So the white people made me change it up. Um, different bag coming this year. So um, <clears throat> it's broke in front and not broke nigga front no more. So anyways, make sure you tap in. We just did a dope interview with Sean Brantz. I don't know who watched that, but make sure y'all um, get on that. That was a great interview. But we about to have another great interview with my dog, one of the hottest niggas in this city, boy. Why Jizzle, man? Hand clap for my nigga Why Jizzle in the motherfucking building. Jurassic Park. Gang, gang, gang. Jurassic Park. Little fucking vibe. Yeah. What's up with you, man? Yeah, same shit, man. I'm Talk closer cool. to the mic, man. You ain't testifying, bro. You the good. Same shit, man. I'm cool and cool, man. Living life, man. Trying to be a superstar, man. That's all. You know, um, this is one of the earliest interviews I ever had. I want you to tell niggas why we having an interview so early. I want niggas to think you scared. You want to be outside at a certain time. 
But this I is I appreciate I appreciate But nah Cause I got this bracelet man. You know Nigga got these charges Yeah I got three pencil cases Why you cap. always Why you always Getting into trouble man I feel like you all You in and out of jail a lot Bro To be honest bro oh, Man look Every day I charge shit Bad to luck me. you think I charge shit It's a lifestyle bro I charge it to the game When I go to jail bro I swear to god bro I don't cry bro I don't do nothing. Say, give me. You say you done cried? I don't know. Nah, fuck no, I ain't never cried, bro. I've been going to just since twelve since DYS, bro. I ain't never cried, bro. I charge it to the game, bro. You feel me? If I did something wrong, I did something wrong. I fucked it up, bro. You feel me? You never had a nigga put you in jail before? A I've nigga a, tell on you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, you wouldn't I, cry I, over that if it was like somebody close to you who told. I would cry over that. Nah, if it was like one of my this? brothers. How about this, right? I did, I did. I was 15. I got I got booked for attempted murder. Three counts attempted murder. I I came home when I was 18. I could talk about it. I did time for it. Long yeah. story short, nigga. Right before right before niggas catch the case, I said to my man's. I said to my man's. My my Cody Moolah, Free Moolah. That's my dog Cody since catch. Free Moolah. I'm like yo, bro. Who the fuck is? I just came home, bro. And dog, I just came. I was only out for a month. Bro. I just yeah. came from 14 months and do yeah. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? He's like, bro, that's my cousin, bro. Da, 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 bro, he's good, bro. I'm like, you sure? He's like, you good. Long story, you stuck. Niggas go M.O. Catch it. You know M.O. Nigga, Jake jump on us. Get buck. Bro, on that dog, Moolah shit's hard. He get away. Bow. I end up getting booked. My other man's getting booked. This bitch nigga get buck. Get to the station. I'm like, fuck, fuck it. They said three people shot. He's the oldest. I'm 15. My other man's 17. This nigga's like, what, 19? So the young niggas are staying solid in the situation. And that nigga told you for me. He told on me. Now who got it? Bro got away. Yeah. And I'm getting caught because he's getting charged. Because dog we told. Time. We all did time for you for me. Yeah. We time DYS niggas. Was D-Y-S. dog from your neighborhood? Was he from the from the, Was he from Jurassic? God, no, not really. For me, it was bro, family ties. You yeah, know? family ties. Family ties. He, he, he try, he's trying to be now because his family's. So yeah, yeah. Giving him, you know. Yeah, yeah. But she, you know, niggas get jammed up. Niggas ain't real niggas. But how does that feel when you have a somebody who's supposed to be family who tells on you? Like, how, how does that feel having somebody tell on you? You charge me. You charge. I be like, you wait. I don't hang with rats, but that's. But sometimes you don't know though. You don't know some paperwork, so you can't. You so you can't even say you can't do nothing. I've been in jail so much, bro, that I learned that you can't call a nigga rat until you see paperwork. You can't throw a jacket on it. So I want if a nigga like yo, he's a rat. Well, I'll be like, how do you feel about? I feel like we live in a new era where niggas be throwing that type, that jacket on a nigga, calling a nigga a rat slow, and all that. To me, that's love nigga shit. But uh, I always say the same shit until I started going like, to jail a lot. When you go to jail, you get so you used to do that. Yeah, you used to, but yeah, I used to do like this niggas part. This call the situ- off a situation. Like niggas call me a rat. I'm mm-hmm. out on th- I'm out on bail on three different burning cases. Bro. Niggas be like, damn, he got to be telling. Rat. I got a yeah. whole pay lawyer on dead dogs. Nigga. Yeah, thirty five beans, nigga. I'm I'm pay lawyer on every case. Every time I go to jail, my lawyer. Yeah, bro. on everything I love. So so. So since you went to jail and you learning like the ethics and code and morals mm-hmm. that you just can't say certain you shit like just, that nah, on a nigga. You can't just throw a jacket on it, you know? I mean, mm-hmm. once, once the, the black, if he's a rat, the black and white going to jail. Yeah. Expose all rats. I expose all rats. All rats is food. All, if my best friend is a rat, I'm never going to fuck with him, bro. Never, bro. It's hard never, to fuck bro. with him, huh? Never. Even bro. if it's family, blood families. Never, bro. I got it to I ain't going to lie. It's a little situation. I got it to my own friends. Because a rat nigga keep trying to come and run away. Mm-hmm. There's paperwork, paperwork on him. Paperwork drop. They saying it's fake. Saying it's, that's what a rat's gonna say. Y'all listen to the rat saying it's fake. What the, the rat, homies are saying is the homies giving them the benefit of the doubt. He's not even from my hood. You feel me? The person yeah. Not even from my side. You feel me? So now his niggas ain't fucking with him. You feel me? But at the time, the niggas like, yo, bro, that's just everybody saying it's fake. Ain't no such that's saying such thing. Fake paperwork, bro. Nobody doing that, bro. You feel me? Your beef just dropped the paperwork. Nobody's hanging. So I got so a nigga try to come around my way. I kicked him out. I feel like when you gain a certain name, you get a certain notoriety. Niggas will give you that excuse because of who you are, what bro, type no, of work you put black in. And, once black and white job, you ain't no excuse, bro. It's just two thousand learn, right? Gangsters, like if I catch a case, right? I'm innocent to prove guilty. I'm, I'm innocent to prove guilty. That's true. All rats and rapists is guilty to prove innocent. 
We can't live here, nigga. We, you come to the unit. And you you got to get right oh, first. Bitch, you got to go check in until you figure out your situation. Until you but to us. You're right. You got to convince oh, niggas rapist, first. Bro. I call it the double laws. They can't live nowhere, bro. The double laws, bro. You a rap. So if, if you got that, if niggas are claiming for you to be a rap, you got to prove that first, that you're not a rat before you if can you come back. Paperwork. If that paperwork dropped me, you like, yo, that shit fake. Well, bro, you better go to the course and you better go find out the real shit then. Until then, bro, I'm not fucking with you because paperwork. But you know paperwork drop, like, bro, I don't listen to niggas, bro, you know? But I still look, keep a nigga like, you still got to be on your toes, yeah, you though. you feel me? You're still a, that's, that's a fucked up jacket to throw on a nigga. Yeah, it's me? fucked up. But niggas use that word so loosely. That's what's fucked up about it. Yeah. Especially if a nigga don't like you. Niggas call me around. I swear to God, end up like, yo, this nigga's around. How you about on three gun cases? I feel like that's easy to say for niggas. Yeah, that's that's the easiest jacket to put on a nigga. Easy to charge it. A nigga would be in a rat, especially if you don't like a nigga. It's just like some because niggas use that word loosely. There's no consequences though. But how about niggas who are rats, but like me, their hood call. still accept them though? How do you Not feel about me. that? That's garb shit, bro. Not me, bro. I'm dead dogs, bro. I don't play that shit, bro. You're a rat. You're getting around me, bro. Uh, none of that, bro. We don't do that, bro. I think I watch too much movies, bro. On dead dogs, bro. Every time I got locked up, bro, the police quite on dog. The police question me. On dog, I think I watch too much movies because I know what I tell them, suck my dick. I don't get no fake stories. No, you ain't nothing. rapping. No, bro. On my mother, bro. I'll be like a real little kid and be like this. But you know, I feel sometimes, sometimes, like this. you know how I feel. I feel like sometimes oh niggas dogs, niggas can't help themselves. Niggas think they can outsmart police. Niggas think they so witty they can talk their way out of situations. Sometimes niggas don't end up rat, and sometimes really niggas end up dry snitches on themselves mm -hmm. by just giving information that they was better off just not talking. That's about, the best way to be. About, I know a nigga that long was the driver told the driver told on the shooters just that he was just a driver. Of the murder, the shooters beat the case. The driver Got went down time. for life because yeah. he said he was there. Damn. You put yourself on the cream. The scene. Science, science, you yeah, said that, scene. Yeah, yeah, that happened. I was, I was just a yeah, driver because yeah. he was scared. He wanted to yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. And the shooters beat it. Wow. And on that dog, the driver got life. Bro. Wow. There's on a lesson. There's a lesson in that. You stupid motherfucker! You went against the grain, shut. nigga. That, there's a lesson in that. You put yourself on. You told the people that yeah, they, yeah, I was a part of this. He's sick. But you try to get your way out of it by snitching, saying you were just a driver. The driver go down for whatever the shooters do. No, that's a lesson right there. I respect the driver. The drivers, the driver. If a nigga catch a, if a, if 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 me and bro catch a MR, I'll sign out the out the car, and the driver's driving. He got that too. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. He got that's a lot of risk, bro. Yeah. Because even if we go, we get and he booked, still got to stay ten toes. Because if we get booked, he's going to jail for our murder. They not charging. They think they got charge him with a drive. They charge him for first degree. Yeah. Knowing you didn't pull the trigger, you just a driver. Yeah. But you drove that first degree, so we respect. I don't thought I respect the drivers. So um, let's talk about you, um, your upbringing and how you grew up. I know you love the projects. You grew up in the projects your whole life. A lot of niggas who don't like you or have something, they're trying to find something to say about you. Mm -hmm. And you're big on facts. I'm big on facts. So did you spend your whole life in Heat Street Projects or did you move <coughs> around before then? <coughs> I've been my whole... Okay. Nigga, <coughs> I, have my, I, I have my whole life in a project, Heat Street Projects. I just was born in Franklin Hill. You know what I'm saying? Because I hear niggas say that my Franklin mother, Hill shit. My grandmother, my uncle, my aunts, my cousins, my grandfather, my grandmother. My grandmother got the same apartment for 45 years, still to this day. Mm -hmm. still, I, still got a, I still got a house in the project. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. For me, I just, as my uncle and them, like it, it's, it's funny, crazy, because my uncle, he's from Franklin Hill. Mm -hmm. But he was born in history projects. But as he started growing up in the streets mentality, he got raised in Franklin Hill, so he jumped to Franklin Hill. Yeah. I was born in Franklin Hill. Yeah. I moved to history two thousand five. I mean, How old were you when I you like, I was born on the eighth, so I was like seven. Okay. Seven, seven, around my friends. That's a day one from right there, I swear to God. Dead dogs. Fought him like five times. And you and you 
I know because your last name, well, not your last name, but your family's last name, your mom's last name oh, uh -huh. is Daly. That's that a, is a he street, street last name. That's a he street last name. That's one of the big families in the he street. Mm -hmm. So niggas should already know that you have ties already to he street, but they try to use the hill shit just against you. Anybody that say yo, this nigga, this was from the hill. I was from the hill. I've been from he street since thirteen. So map this up, right? Real on dogs, real gangster shit. I moved to I moved to Franklin in two thousand five. Mm -hmm. my, my uncles, they was teenagers. My play father was like sixteen, seventeen. I was looking up to him. Who cared? Free who? You know, free Pusa. Free, free Pusa. That's another jail call. My man. Free Pusa. Free Pusa. I'm about to tell him what to call him, bro. You got to call me, bro. Free Pusa, you know. Nigga. This is your second jail call today. You get a lot of those? I get, a, I get at least 10 a day, bro. I swear to God, I'm dud, dog. These friendships get expensive, bro. This is the joke call in Florida, too. My man smiled him. See, I said, well, joke call. Nigga, bro. Yo, bro. What's the with you, baby? Ain't shit. Yo, bro, I'm at an interview. You trying to call me back in like an hour? I'm going to be done with this shit. I love you, nigga. I right, one. That shit don't get expensive, man. Having niggas is always getting booked. That shit gets expensive. Bro, when you been in jail, bro, you got to be like, I been in jail, bro. So it's like, this nigga right here, bro, that just called me, bro. When that dog, when he was out. If my bitch, if my bitch ain't answer, I could call that nigga five times. Back to back. He's answering. So I would feel like a real piece of shit if I don't answer five times or ten times back to back. You know what I'm saying? You ever been with a nigga and he got a jail call and he... He declined it or sent it the voicemail or whatever like that. Yeah, that's God, bro. You feel me? That's like, oh, I, I, I be, it ain't gonna lie, sometimes I be getting aggravated because I, get, yeah. I get so much. I get D.Y. I get three D.Y. calls. I got three niggas in D.Y. I got two niggas in the Bay, four niggas in Nash. You see Moolah's in effect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, back, so we won't. You know, get off topic, but just bringing your family dynamic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. your uncle's from the hill. Your mom, mom, mom Dukes. Mom Dukes used to live in the hill too? Mom Dukes is from, my grandma was, my, my, she was, my grandma was living in the hill. My, okay. grandma, my grandma got kicked out of uh, history. Okay. She got moved to Franklin Hill. Okay. That's when I was born. Okay. I was born in 98, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and your yeah. pop Dukes, where's your pop Dukes? Is he from is, the hill? My pop's is from H Block. Okay. My pop's from H Block, so you know H Block. You don't got Franklin Hill. My, my grandmother, my pop's mother. She should live in the hell, you know what I mean? So I was having my pop, my father, my mother. You have there. a crazy family dynamic, and I'm happy that you, you're talking about it because a lot of niggas will hide behind that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody know you got certain situations out here. Mm -hmm. For your your pops to be from a place where, you know, you you got situations or you, you know, you don't like certain people from, you don't like anybody from that area. How does that work? Because your pops was there, and now these are the people that you got personal issues with. It just that, um, hey, you know so great. You know so great. Like when my pops passed, like my pops, my pops passed, my pops passed. I was about to go to the funeral. My aunt, my father's sister, she's like, "Don't come, it's mad age." I don't give a fuck. That's your she pops. Know I don't give a fuck. So you couldn't go to your pops' funeral? No, no. I went to the funeral. I got booked, bro. DBS, bro. I was in DBS, right? Mm -hmm. So DBS, they do all type of shit. They locked me up just because my father died. Cause they said I was gonna get. Revenge. How did your father pass? If you don't got mind, got shot. He got killed. Got killed. He got killed. Okay. So they locked me up just cause my father died. Three days after, for me. So I had to go to funeral and shot. What was the charge? They can't lock you up just for locking. No, nah, they ask to pull you in. They pull okay. you in. Revocation okay. oh. for safety. All right. They All put right. you in for safety. You feel me? That's mm -hmm. what they pulled me in for safety. So my father died. The next day they threw a warrant out on me. You feel me? And they came and got me two days later for safety. So you couldn't attend the funeral. So I, no, I, I took the funeral from. DYS brought me in shackles and cuffs. So before everybody got there, I was the first one there. See my pops in shackles and cuffs for 15, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And went right back to the unit. You That's know what I'm different. Saying? That's different. Because they didn't want me to go to the funeral because they not got beef. They know the situation. Right? Yeah, of course. Because DYS course. is already ahead. Yeah. So they're like, I'm not letting you go to the funeral with full of H block kids. You feel me? Yeah. How's your relationship with you and your pops? We was cool. That's my dog. Uh, yeah. We was cool. If he was high, if, oh, on, I, I said this every day. If he was, he was big on the music shit. Yeah. If he was live to this day, he would try to be my manager. I think I'd be lit. Your pops used to rap. He used to rap. 
He was nice. Get money, nigga. Fly, nigga. He's 40. You know, look, he died in Margellas, Louis Vuitton, Jewel. You feel me? 40 years old. You feel Gangster. Me? Feel me? So, dog. a nigga like you, there's no dogs. I bought on dead dogs with my mother. We was fucking the same bitches on. I swear <laughs> to God. I'm fucking the same. I don't know, I don't know if that's a good thing father. or a bad thing or, or your pop side. Or, for you, it's good. For but me. your pop shouldn't be fucking just the same bitches as Yo, you. I, I, used to, I used to deal with You girls. fucking his bitches. Say that. You was used, fucking your pop's I bitches. To, I used to like older bitches back. I used to like older okay. bitches. Okay. I used to like older bitches. You know what I mean? So, why did they get a 35 year old? Yeah, bitches love young niggas. You know, mm-hmm. bitches love young niggas. On thugs. I used to fuck mad bitches that fuck my father. I swear to God, bro. I used to call me like real, like yo, you good? Like, you yeah. and your pops knew y'all was fucking. This, y'all was sharing pussy On together. Th- that's how we knew because he had called me and tell me. You feel me? And then she had t- uh, another bitch to tell me like, you know, it's crazy. I talk to you, f- like, eh. but I wouldn't be surprised because you're damn near his age. You feel me? Growing up in the projects, you know, a lot of niggas done share pussy together in the projects. We we in the fucking projects, mm-hmm. right? A lot of niggas done you know a lot of chatty patty shit going on niggas done smack this john and then you know a nigga up next smacking johns niggas ever get into it over over bitches or? Shit. Yeah, you know what i'll be telling niggas right this, this is one thing right don't cuff all don't cuff all bitch like meaning like they're a the bitch in the hood Mm-hmm. Mad niggas, we all everybody fucked. I fucked that you fucked that. But, but let's talk about the projects. I feel like I it's different. The projects, in yeah, the projects. yeah, yeah. A bitch, I fuck, bro, fuck, he fuck, yeah. they fuck, and you want me doing the same thing? But yeah. you going and cuff her? Uh-huh. You expect me to stop fucking that nigga because you cuffed her? This is all bitch, nigga. You just cuff. But oh. can you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. But can can you respect the fact that I'm letting the gang know, like, yo, I'm in love with the joint. Why are you in love with all bitch? Hold on, hold on. But let's say I go to the gang and I'm like, yo, listen, I know niggas done blazing all that, and I and, and I ex, and I accept her past. It is crazy, but there's niggas who fall in love, and there's niggas who don't got bitches pregnant in the jets that every nigga smashed. This None shit of my happens. baby mothers. None of, none of my baby, my, see, not me, none of my baby, yo, on that dog's about my hood, be f- probably like generation over mine, right? Like generation over mine. He's like, he's in the generation before, he's young, it's like, it's like two more generations before mine. Because the generation, there's one more generation, there's a generation after mine, there's another generation after mine. So another generation after mine, everybody's baby mother and baby father is from the projects. Like my grandfather is from the projects. My, my grandmother is from the projects. Yeah. Nigga, not to his grandmother is front of projects. His grandfather is front of projects. Everybody's fucking everybody in the project. Exactly. Not even, not only his grandfather is probably his grandfather because his grandfather was fucking with his. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I get, I get. What you're That's saying. how it really is. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, it's not like that. A generation over me. So I can't cuff a John that I'm needs not, to smash him. That's I'm not what you're giving saying. a baby to my man's head. Mm, you're not doing that. But in the project, cause it's like different rules. It's like. It's different. Like you could do that. I'm not giving a baby to my man's fuck. It happens all the I time. I know. I know. I know. Three all. I know. Place like my grandmother, right? My grandmother, old school. You know, all her baby fathers is from history projects. Yeah. Every one from history projects. Every one. You, you saying with the new my genera- got five kids. So it's like new generation now. It's like a code where niggas ain't y'all not getting these bitches pregnant from the we're same. We're not fucking. We're not. We're not giving a bitch. Yes, sis, I know you. Niggas fuck sis in the project. I though. know you. Not talking about the t- sis. You's a hooter. I know you. I don't want you. I seen your hooter shit growing up all our life. You's a hooter. I seen you grow up. I don't want so you. So I living in the projects. You you live a different lifestyle. Your sexual experience is different. Don't get me wrong. Niggas definitely. Niggas definitely. I definitely touch project, but you remember we definitely. But nigga. The illness is to bring different bitches out. Different, in the summertime in the jacks. How does that work? Let's say let's say you living in the projects. You got some outside work and you bring it in the project. Is that something that bitches from the projects accept? How about bitches from the projects be hating? They be like, yo, man, you bring these bitches out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be like, yo, these bitches going to get a drop. Like, no, they not. Shut up. Bitches ain't going to get a drop. Man. Shut up. You just mad because nobody, like, shut up. You know I mean? On dogs, we be like that. But we, 
It's just bitches. If it's from the hood, I love the death. Like, that's my sis. That's my dog, bro. Like, like oh, girl, that's my sis. That's my dog. Yeah. That's my dog, bro. Yeah. That dog, bro. So, I, I'm not... I'm not I'm not mad at it. The new generation got a different mindset where niggas ain't, you know, getting females in the projects, sis or whatever, pregnant. But I feel like people like to, you know, that last name, like how you got your last, you know, not, you know, how your mom got her last name. Niggas like to leave that legacy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like to leave that legacy. So I'm going to have a, a, a baby with a girl from Heat Street just to leave that legacy on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my son in the I, I got I got three sons and one daughter. Oh, so you got a couple of kids? Yeah, I got three. I got three sons and one daughter. Not from Heat Street? I don't want them from Heat Street. They could be, I don't want them to be game, man. They could be whores, getting money. But you don't want them rapping. part of that lifestyle. But I, I tell everybody to this day, but if I can go back and stop gangbanging, I'll <coughs> go back and stop gangbanging, bro. I'm a dog, bro. This ain't the lifestyle nigga want to live, bro. I started at that. I started that. When niggas say, yo, you just, just was from hell. I've been from here since 13, so if I was from the hell, I was from the hell at 12, 10, and 11, bro. It's a different, I'm 12, 10, 11, 13, 14, don't give a fuck. This shit was fun to a nigga, you yeah. know what I mean? Shit got deep, and it got deep, and I, years ago, it's like, you I f- can't leave unless I leave the state, bro. Do you feel like you, you, you're, you're too deep in now? I can't leave unless I leave the state, bro. I could be like, I'm not from East Street. They're going to see me, they're trying to burn me. How does that? How do you feel that affects your music, though? Like moving around and doing certain shit. It's a lifestyle I chose. That's how I tried to share the game. I fucked up back in the day. That's why I said I wish I could change it because I know regular niggas that could get a nine to five. That's going to parties, fucking mad bitches, getting, you know. I could just pull up on over here and serve any play. So you like my parties and shit. You 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 want to feel comfortable coming to? I'm gonna come wrapped up. I'm gonna come yeah. part of the scent, bro. I'm gonna mm-hmm. come wrapped up. Unless you know about yo, there's a. I'm not. You good? I'm not gonna yeah, have yeah, none yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like yo, bless a regular degla. Yeah. I'm coming wrapped up, bro. Yeah. So mm-hmm. so I gotta make it a lot. And you bro. from you from like a historic hood. One not, of the main hoods in Boston. Yeah, let's be honest, yeah, historic, bro. historic. One of the main hoods yeah, in Boston has his, talked about historic. Bro. So. For you, it's not easy. It's like a bullseye on y'all niggas. You always getting booked. How do you bid? How like a nigga like you? I'm always so... yo, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm, niggas are probably thinking yo, this nigga just a rapper, bro. I'm always, in, I don't live with no beef. I don't. I move every time, bro. Like I was just like locked up, bro. But I was just booked for that, that that forty day. I was booked for forty days on on. They locked me up for three pounds a week. I beat it, no possible. You know for me. Mm-hmm. I was in a box. For, I was in a box for damn near half the time, bro. Grooving on dead dogs, bro. Not much, I don't play none of that. I don't live with beef. But on dogs, bro, you know what's the crazy thing about it? Every time I go to jail, like I just went to Bill Ricker. Yeah, I got booked to summer about leaving the studio. I went to Bill Ricker. Bro, I swear to God, Hold bro. On, you got booked leaving the leaving the, the studio in Somerville. Yeah, everybody goes to that studio. I'm. I don't give a fuck. I'll be there. I'll be there. How you get booked leaving um the studio? Police came law. I had a warrant. You feel me? Uh huh. I had a warrant. Like, How they know you was in the studio? Got a bracelet. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, me, got yeah. a bracelet. So yeah. I got. A, I had. A, I guess I had a warrant. And I'm lurking the behind the studio, and I'm finding three pounds. Locked me up. Charged me a new charge. So I go to Bell Record. You feel me, bro? And the rapping shit, bro. I'm on launch. Imagine I'm on a launch pad every Sunday, bro, for the jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. go to the jail. I'm a straight superstar. Mm-hmm. I don't know nobody. Everybody know me. Niggas gonna give me a full soul slippers. I got booked with my manager too. One dog got booked with Flames. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flames seemed like, yo, bro, we're good, bro. Like, then I swear to God, we was kind of good. So just, yeah, yeah. With either you, though, I'm like a superstar. Yeah. Like, yo, what up, a Jizzle? Yeah, but, what up, gotta, what up, what but up? you got to understand, like, the launch pad, shout out to uh, DJ E Double. Mm-hmm. That's my guy. I like, you know what I'm saying? Guy, shout out to him good doing nigga. his thing. The launch pad, niggas yeah. who's in the joint, that's motivation. That's mm-hmm. giving the niggas, you know, feeling them closer to the mm-hmm. streets. So your your influence in jail, whether a nigga like you or not, niggas is tapping in and mm-hmm. tuning in, waiting for the launch pad to hear that mm-hmm. shit that they can, you know, resonate to, relate to, and shit like that. So of course, when you walk in, you're gonna be a superstar. Mm-hmm. But how does that change your mindset? Does that make you feel like, damn, like niggas really fucking with On me? Dog, I'll be like, I gotta get out, bro. I gotta get out, bro. How about my first time? The first time my song ever dropped on the launch pad, it was free to jails. I was in a box. I beat up this bitch ass nigga for mission. I beat up this nigga for mission. 
I was walking with him. He remember. You a small guy to be beating niggas up like that. Bro, I swear to God. Like that. Bro, I, I'm not, bro. I got. <laughs> like all you gotta have is heart, bro. <laughs> I, but I, I didn't, I didn't son niggas. I know that could fuck me up, bro. Like this nigga's a bitch. I know this big nigga beat me up if he really get a job, but he's so scared. I'm, I don't duck nothing. I don't sure. Don't he was duck, the, no right. Nothing. I don't for sure. I just, I didn't go, to, I didn't go to video call. He was on him, man. I go to video call. Saw the bitch. I had the information. He let me beat him up. He left the box five minutes. Cause he didn't want to fight. Long story short, I'm in a hove, nigga. My man, somebody like my man from my, from my man from the two y'all like, yo, Jizzle, you on a launch pad? Y'all to the vent. I'm like, yeah. It's the free. It's the it's the free my brothers. Mind you, on the, the first verse, it started, I like that joint. It's the, the first verse says 23 and I, 23 and one, 23 and one, and I sell that hove drove me crazy. I was really 23 and one, bro. I did, as it on dog, my song when he playing, I couldn't even hear it though. My first first time in launch pad. Talking about twenty three and one, I'm twenty three and one right now. Kind of in my song. When you when you when you doing when you bidding, how's the music? How how you are you are you able to create music when you in there or your mind somewhere else? No funny shit, bro. Like that, this time I didn't write shit when I was just book. I didn't write shit, bro. I had to when I got when I, I don't know. I just didn't want to motivate. I was just ready to get the fuck out of jail. Bro. I was just like, just does like jail talk. kill your motivation? Nah, I just this time they locked me up for some fucking weed, bro. Yeah, kind of like they tried to sack me down for ninety days in a beat. I got a pig law. You feel me? I ain't a beat and I shouldn't thirty and forty. You feel me? You get tired of this jail shit I in and do, out of bro, jail, shit, fighting cases. Bro, that shit is crazy. It's bro. not emotionally draining. But that shit is the. Bro, that's just the worst. Bro. Financially draining because you have paid lawyers. Got to lose, bro. I lose bread, bro. Then that's sh- that's just the verse, but then it's insanity, bro. I'm always in the hole, bro. Every every time I go to jail, I done been a Nash, nigga, South Bay, mid um uh middle ten. Are they Bill putting you Ricker. in the hole? I'm fighting, you feel me? I yeah. fight, bro. They know they know I'm known for yeah. fighting. You know yeah. I move on shit. I don't live up. That shit really fucks up with your your mental being in that hole. Bro, imagine, bro. So you by yourself. Imagine, bro. All day. 23 bro. hours. I got ADHD and ADD. My shit go crazy, <laughs> nigga. What the, what the fuck you doing in the hole? So many times you can beat off. Dog, you just sleep. I just talk shit. Like, when the beef be there, I just be talking shit. I was just They there. can hear you. Yeah, I was, I was just there. <laughs> I, when I was just there, I was just there with this bitch-ass nigga from Ruggles. He was on PC. From we, now, we in a whole other county, so... We looked at Boston. Yeah. I know you guys ruckles, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, you dumb ass nigga, why the fuck you want protective custody, nigga? Yeah. I was just catching, bro. Yeah. Time in the box. But years. musically, you've been going hard so far. Since you've been home, you've been you've been dropping some shit. I made I wrote the same night I came home. I wrote two tracks in the night. I didn't write in jail. I wrote two I made two songs. So What's you gain you gained motivation once you came. Out, yeah, you bro. was just on it. It's a career. It's like it's a career. Now it's like a career to me. It's a job. I get paid off this shit. Like literally get paid. She checks every month. Features. Nigga, I got show money. I did that, bro. On dogs, bro. So, so since like, you wasn't writing in jail, so everything you you because nobody to me was fresh and like, new when you came home. Yeah, it's like I don't care. It's like cause I'm in jail, so now I'm, fo- I'm focused on something. That's right. I'm focused on getting out. I don't. It's like music to me. Now it's like a career. It's not a hobby no more. Yeah. When I was writing, writing. It, Anywhere, every time is a hobby. I'm not getting paid while I'm in jail. I'm getting paid up for the music. I'm like, I got, I, every time I go to, if I go to jail, I got four or five videos in a cut, bro. I got about 20 songs. You, do you do that on purpose because you know you you facing know, a lot bro. of situations know, and you bro. might go away? So I swear you trying to God, I tell my manager all the time. My manager's like, yo, bro, we got to shoot. A, a shoot for you. Put in the cut. You never know yeah. what happened. Yeah. You never know what happened. That's a crazy bro. life to live, though. I mean, that's what I'm trying to make it, bro. I'm trying to get the fuck out of this. And I see you've been doing, you've been on the drill shit heavy. Um, what's been making you? Me. What's been making you go so crazy on people that you have issues with? Yo, bro, you know what's crazy? So, so crazy thing about it? Music really. How I learned music really like emotions. Like you gotta be in, in, depending on how you feeling. It was a time. Remember, it was a time I was doing all pain music. Yeah. I lost a lot of friends, bro, due to gang war or due to just regular regular shit. People, you feel me? I lost friends due to regular, just regular shit, not gang war. You feel me? Grandmother, I was doing bad pain music. Real music came when shit turned over, flipped the script. On dead dogs, bro. 
you know. You know. <laughs> so, so do you think like when you in your pain bag and you in your drill bag? I can't bag, even do a pain song right now. Bro. I got to do I, no bullshit, bro. I'm not in pain right now. We. T- t- we gravy, bro. We so now it. you fully drill. You want straight I could drill, mission mode. I could rap. For me, it's no bullshit. It's hard to do. It's like I be trying to. do I don't. Was, I barely sing now. I just. I, I'm. What's, I, the, what's the writing price process for you? Like, you how do you format? Your, like, is it a different writing process when you do your pain music and your drill music? Depending what be like, depending on how I'm feeling, bro. It's like depending on how I'm feeling. Like I, I, I write at the crib. You know I mean, late night. That's another jail car right there. God damn. You put I money in all that. these niggas' books? You're going to be it's broke. on my phone, bro. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's my man, Shizzy. I know it's my man, Shizzy. It's from Nash right there. I don't want from Florida. Bro, it's from Whitehead. This is from the Nash. This is no fucking joke. That's three jail calls in less than fucking 30 minutes. I'm just telling him I'm doing that. Bro. I'm telling him I'm doing that. Got so much niggas in jail, it's crazy. Bro. Bro. Hey, yo, I'm doing an interview right now, bro. I'm in an interview right now. But, yo, hold up. Talk your shit. Let them know. Let them know what type of shit you want. I don't know. Me. You know, my man's facing. This is my man's right here. My man's shizzy, man. And he's facing. You know, he's facing. Man, he live on being that podcast. I'm on. A, I'm on an interview right now. I'm telling, telling him about you. This is my man Shizzy right now, man. He's facing life, man. He's, you know, he's facing. He's facing a real situation. Been down for about like how long? You been down for, bro? Over five and a half. Over five and a half. Still and kind, fighting, bro. Still fighting. You know, you know. I mean, it's definitely. You know, God's going hey, definitely. Yo. De- God's definitely going to work out. You know. That's a fact, bro. Hey, I talk with you though, like you know. Hey, you know how I go through the rail and all that. You know, you know, most definitely. Hey, yo, bro, you good though? Yeah, most definitely, bro. I'm about this interview shit right now. I'm gonna hit you. I'm thinking I'm gonna hit you. Hey, yo, hit me like you know. I'm at my curfew. You know my curfew. Yeah, yeah, you know that, bro. Be safe, bro. Good luck. I appreciate you picking up your. Bro, you know one, bro. Yeah, hey, yo, I, I feel so like that's a that's enough motivation for you right quick, there. You know the quick thing about it, bro? I met that nigga in jail, bro. Mm. I've never seen that nigga day in my life on the streets. Bro, I met him in jail. And y'all dog, built a bro. relationship. Built a relationship. Y'all was Sully's or something? Never was Sully, bro. My first day, I still got hit South Bay. Him South Bay. My man's from the hill. And I told you about, tell you about the situation with the, um, when the police told homie to lace it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You told me that. I told you my man's end up, end up fighting. Other nigga end up fighting. He's like, yo, I'm going to give you a TV. I got to see you told somebody else he's going to give him a TV first. Yeah. But then he see who I was, like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna give you the TV. From like your family, like your family. Yeah. I tell you those my peoples. Long story short, he's a homie that just called me with a runner. You know I mean? He got mad cold and he be like, yeah. see, scared of him, big nigga. You yeah. know what I mean? So he's like, put the TV. I didn't know, like, yo, what's that TV? Like, that's my TV. I'm like, you, bro, you bugging. I'm first. I'm like, yo, bro, home, bro, just, bro went to the box. I'm like, bro, yeah, just gave me that me TV, TV before yeah. you went to the box. He's like, bro, I don't know what you talking about. He gave me that TV. I'm gonna that TV. I said, bro, you. Barking, bro, you ain't getting nothing, nigga. Uh-huh. You crazy, bro. And he he looked at me like, this nigga's on that. Yeah. I'm like, kidding, like, yo, what you really on that, bro? Like, oh, you just told that nigga you ain't getting shit, bro. I'm like, yeah, bro. What about the nigga just gave me the tea? I'm not taking that, bro. I'll get up out of here before I give a nigga my TV, bro. Yeah. You bugging. We gonna we none of us gonna get the TV, nigga. Yeah, yeah, we going yeah, to no. the hole. <laughs> and that's how we started clicking on dog. Yeah, yeah, I that's see real. You you know? Does that give you some type of motivation too? Like niggas, you got a lot of niggas locked up and facing real life situations. When it comes to this music shit, does that give you any inspiration to keep niggas hopes alive and shit yeah, like that? Like every bro, every Monday, bro. I get like mad joke calls because no launch past Sunday. Yeah. They be like, oh, bro, you, bro, that shit's fire, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit's fire. They call me like, man. They pay, do they play the disc records on launch no. or they, they, they select them no. on what they play? No. And A double, you my man for this. But no. Let me tell you, let me tell you why I first have a way sometimes. Because I got drove shit. He double told me. I just that's my guy. We went yeah, out to yeah, eat together. Yeah. You feel me? I like I like we E-double. Out to I eat fuck together. with him. We don't eat Heavy. together. He's like, yo, your shit's crazy. Your shit get crazy. But one thing I didn't like, he played Coppo's track. And Coppo 
Not only he didn't diss nigga, he said my name. You feel me? Yeah, on free, cop, free copo. Me? He said my name on the launch pad. Yeah. You feel me saying? So it's like, uh, you throwing, you know, so you let them niggas get disrespectful on launch pad. Not only he said my name, why just up? You think I, he caught that? Huh? You think he caught that? But they drill shit can get up, but my drill shit can't, bro. That's really crazy. I know I can't. So get when you had a conversation with him, what did he say about that? He said my shit's crazy. He said my shit's just, my drill shit is too crazy. But but how um how did he respond to you telling him that like other niggas didn't, say I, my I, name? Nah, I didn't. I never you told him that. that. that oh, this okay. is before that, you know. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I right, I respect that. You know, I see yeah. some other shit, and as time go by, and they, you know. I want to put this nigga say my name. You know I mean? like, D- does the, c- does the city ever? You know, cops when they see you or when you get booked, they never tell you to cut it out with bro, the how music, about this, certain bro? shit. No funny shit, bro. I be getting, I be telling my, I be used to tell my bro, I get superstar passes. I really what you mean by that? Like, I guess like, I get superstar. I, I don't know the jakes be on my dick, bro. Like they ain't find what they want to find. They gonna like. You think the jakes are a fan of you? Yo, the Jake's like, they, how about they be stopping me? Like, yo, dude, what the fuck, dude? Like, you the fucking hottest in the city? Like, dude, how about the Jake told me on the dog? The Jake told me, like, yo, I was just in a meeting. They might listen to your music, look, look, too. the Jake just told me. The Jake just told me I was in a, I was just in a meeting the other day. And I asked the kids. You no, know, they Jake's the guy over me with a case. Yeah. He said, I asked the kids, who's the hottest in the city? Who's your favorite rapper? He said, kid, he said, you know, they searching me. They got me yeah. out in cuff. He's yeah. like, he said, everybody fucking said you. Why the fuck is you out here? Man, I'm a rap man. I'm chilling, man. You know, I'm I'm trying to make it. You know, I'm trying to make it. You know. Do you ever plan to get the fuck out of here? Those definitely, bro. I can't get the. I tell the, everybody, they're like, yo, bro, why the fuck you stolen her? That's what the fuck you want me to do? I love. What the fuck you want me to do? I don't got a million dollars, nigga. I can't leave, nigga. I can't leave the steak, nigga. I ain't letting nobody smoking me, nigga. I'm fine with the can, other than getting smoke, <laughs> dogs. You know, I'm a big fan of you. I never want to hear, I, I don't like when I hear you go to jail. I never want to hear any bad news about you because you're so talented and shit like that. And you know how I fuck with niggas. You know, anything I see, I put up. Certain shit I ain't gonna lie. Certain shit I don't put up because you, y'all niggas be talking too crazy. <laughs> and there's certain shit I can't repost. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with y'all. You, you a star. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're definitely a star. You're definitely one of them in the city. I definitely want to see you blow up. But then again, you're, you know, you're, you're super involved. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's only two ways this shit can end up. You never think about that. I do, bro. I, thought I charge it again because it's like, like I told you, like I don't. You done I got can... shot before, grazed in the head. You. Yeah. If I took, I said, if I if I could take this shit back, I could. You know what I mean? If I what, if I could take this shit, I could. I can't. You know what I mean? So just too like, far. You, nigga got a nigga trying to get by. A nigga trying to make it every day. Hmm, dog. Niggas get smoked. Niggas die. You know. Like I said, I rather the can. One hundred percent. Rather the can. I can hold myself in the can. Any pra- paranoia with you? Like when you outside, mad like that PTSD. shit don't I fuck. I mad PTSD, bro. Bro, right before, but before I got grades, bro, I got grades. I got grades coming at my house. It was a drop plate. I'm like, like you know, some sh- you know. And the bro, Jets? Um, I used to oh, live, okay. I was living in Mattapan back then. I was about then, to say. Mattapan back then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before that, I, was, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck, bro. I was kind of, I had no PTSD. After that, bro, PTSD was on high, bro. How do you how do you trust bitches though? Bitches outside, you know the projects and shit like Yo, that. Yo, my first thing before I even get with a bitch, you gotta pull up to the jacks. Pull up on me. Let me see what you like. You know, I swear to God, pull up to the jacks. It's the first thing you gotta do. So even being a being a being a gangster is different is different dating life for you because you it's like I don't trust nothing, bro. Like no, I don't. I right, no funny shit, bro. So how you play the DM with bitches and all that? Like the old you, cause you might have a situation yeah, right now. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're married now, but the old you though, how would you, how would you play, bro? I swear to God, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to, I wouldn't just. If it's depending on a bitch, like if a random bitch hit me, you do your like, homework. I yeah, look at it. What's the name? Look at the front. Now we probably start talking, but you gotta come to me first. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, a, I've never been set up. I'm what about she's from? Um, I didn't dealt with all. She, I didn't dealt with all bitches. Mission yeah. Hill bitches, H Bob. I didn't dealt with those bitches. 
Pull up on and me. they gotta pull up. Pull up. Well, show me you serious, bitch. Come to the project. I thought they could not probably like, all right. Then it's like all right. But if I go to their crib, I'm going situation. Then it's like I done been go. I done been going to art but your crib. Like I right, hand on, you know, going mm-hmm. upstairs. Like ready, you know. I'm tripping. I'm thinking with my dick, but I'm like, man, whatever. Yeah, but that's just dangerous, though. Right, for me, it's a, it's a. What's the? What's the, it's a, um. Why not get a telly? Or why not just keep I'm it? I'm not tricking on that. I got time. That's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> nah, that's not really tricking though. I'm not spending my money. Nah, that's girl. not. That, I'm, nah, because you might look at it like I'm not. Tr- I'm, I'm not, not tricking on no that, ops. Bro. No, on no I'm, ops, I'm, bitch. I never. Like how that. about this? I but never. But it's more about safety though. I never did that. There ain't no price on that. I never did that, bitch. Like my a bitch from my uh, on dogs. I leave bitches on scene. But she's so buy a telly. You ain't buying tellies. I'm like this, bitch. Like buy a telly. I'm like. You ain't got your own shit, bitch. You bugging, bitch. I ain't buying them telly, bitch. I got four kids, bitch. About to spend eight hundred dollars. I'm about to fuck you for 20, 30 minutes, bitch, and be out. I got curfew, bitch. I can't stay tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what about safety, though? What about safety? It's not even about the money, though. Huh? I get what you're saying, but it's not even about the money. It's about the safety. I'm going to pull up, depending on where you at. I'm going to pull up. And if I pull up, I'm pulling them right. You already going to know. And now I'm talking about a 10 on that dog. I, mean, I tell my friend. I tell my bro. Send a picture of the bitch. Bro, I'm about to pull up to her crib. Bang. On dogs, nigga. How about on oh, Sweaty God Free Moolah? That's my best fucking friend. That's my best friend. Real so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not to cut you off. So, if you about to get pussy, you got to bring another... No, nigga. I'll let my mans know. Like, if I feel suspicious, I don't really know the bitch. Yeah. Like, I will let my mans know. Like, bro, I'm about to pull up here. But you know, but the crazy thing about my my Mula, Free Mula, my best friend on mm-hmm. Dead Dogs, bro. The nigga had his, he got his location on my, he he shared my location on his phone the whole time. I'm never knowing. I'm never knowing. He like, just because I know you, bro. You know what I mean? So anything happens. Is me, that I'm, a weakness for you, pussy? Is that a weakness that you have? Used to be. It definitely used to be. So if a nigga wanted to get with bro, you, used to tell they me, would like, send yo, pussy bro. at you? No, that would not, be not, no, you can't do that no more, bro. You can't do that to me. But no in the more. past, that could have been. Yes, you could have done that. You can't do that to me no more. I don't give a fuck about. It. I didn't. I didn't. Bro, I didn't man, I've been through everything, bro. I don't take too much, bro. Well, I don't give a fuck. I care about. So the now you're older. You're wise. I care about the bread, bro. Oh, yeah. Dead dogs, bro. I pay real bills. Got my own shit, bro. Give a fuck about these bitches, bro. I'm married, bro. My bitches, my girl, my bitch right now is different. I ain't even gonna lie. I, every bitch I had used to come before my bitch cheated on me. Cheated? But I'm a nigga who done got cheated on before. You feel what I'm saying? How do you fall in love again after that? It'd be hard, bro. But this girl I got right now, it took me some... It took me uh, uh, fucking up. So much fucking up to realize... Like, she, ain't, she, ain't, she ain't from the Jets, though. She's she different. No, bro. She, you know, she don't know. She's from the city, but she was raised on the outskirts. She's, she's, square, she's a square? Square to this shit, bro. Where's my lifestyle? My everything. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you know. So I got. That's my. Seems dog. like she got you open. Now. That's my baby. I, I talk about her. I'm married. Got a ring. She got a ring. All that. Right, you know. I just don't. I don't know how a nigga who been through so much shit is able to be vulnerable again like that. A nigga like you. Cause I'd have had so many bitch. I'd have had so many bitches, bro. I I know. I'm. I'm so many whores. Whores is just fun. Hoes is just fun. Hoes ain't nothing to go home with. I know that. I know a whore from home. Niggas fall in love with whores every day, bro. Not me. I I, I that's I, I did that plenty of times, bro. I had to realize. I had to realize hoes is just fun. I was I remember when I was in a relationship with a bitch that we both would be cheating. We both get caught cheating up. I'm still with you. You bitch. a whore and you was with a whore. Oh dogs. We both get caught cheating. But y'all like you. And we would stay with each other. I don't know how I did that, cause now if anybody cheat on me, you out. Gotta go. Gotta go. You ain't playing. You never took a bitch back that cheated on you before? The bitch? That bitch I'm talking about. It's the only time. So you got cheated on before and you took the bitch back? So you got some You got some tenderness with you? Nigga, I don't watch that bitch, nigga. Oh, dog. You tender? You got some tender? Bro, you used to be, bro. You got light-skinned nigga tendencies? I I never used to be tender, but I was just my bitch, bro. I don't know what the fuck was. I watched that bitch leave my house, have a whole nigga pick her up. I got a Facebook on my phone. She don't even know. I'm just letting this bitch. Down like bitch, you better not did come back. She like You wanna say her you wanna air her out? You wanna say her name? I ain't gonna air now. She got pregnant now. She got a whole new nigga. Whole yeah, new yeah, yeah. Have a fuck I'll air him out. I don't give a fuck. You can say the ops him. name, you can say your ex's name. <laughs> I have a fuck with her, man. I, I look at him as the same. I, 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 I,
I had time for that. Yeah, yeah I feel you. Much. But I'm happy now you found some peace and you found some happiness in your life, bro. Mm -hmm. But nah, what real happened is my babies, though. I really love my babies, though. I'm a real father, huh? Dead You're not an IG dad? No, I'm a real father. 100% of my kids. Everything my everything with my kids. How's your relationship with your baby mothers, though? Because you had a baby my mother hit me one. up about you before. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. That was, that was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> your baby mother's talking crazy. That was crazy, bro. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. And I sent you the info and everything. I don't, I don't want to get involved in people's personal that life. Was, that was burnt, bro. That was and she's older. Does, that she's, doesn't affect how you are with your me. kid. I can't even see my kids right now, bro. I haven't seen my kids since. I just I haven't seen my kids probably like. I got locked up. Like I came on a month a month and a half ago. It's my kids. Like Cause y'all beefing. Four months. Can we beefing? You feel me? It's like that for me. She know I'm. Well, when we not beefing, I'm the shit. You feel me? She's yeah, shit. Yeah, Tell yeah. you I'm the shit. I'm yeah. the shit. I'm this. I'm that. I'm not. When we beef, I'm a deadbeat. You feel me? I'm not a deadbeat because you take the kids from me. What's the difference? But I'm not a nigga that's going to chase you. So you just say I can't see my kids? I'm a... Call me when I can then, bitch. Did you ever... You're not getting no money from me either. Because I can't... I'm going to give you some money and I can't see my kids. A, a nigga... A nigga... Car off a, so you don't got the car. A, a nigga like you, right, who done dealt with a lot of females... A bitch never left you during your bid or while you fighting certain cases Bad and shit time. like that. Nigga, that's worse than getting shot, nigga. <laughs> So that's real pain. Real pain. You ever been? Uh, you, if you love a bitch, like I don't have mad bitches. I don't have a bitch, but the bitch I love. But the bitch I love. If I argue with her, I can't go to sleep without calling this bitch. I this is why her. you. This is why you bidding. Yeah, why you bidding? Like the bitch you love, you get to argue with the bitch you love in the. Why are you scared she might go suck another dick? No, you just like you just like nah. You gotta call that bitch back. You be spicy. nah. You probably scared she but, might. No, I don't. I don't. Nah, I don't. But I know bitches, you feel me? I like, mean, yeah. I know bitches. I've been cheating on too much. Like, my bitch right now, Yeah, <laughs> I don't worry about that. Like, that's that's why I can never leave her. I don't worry about that. Yeah. I don't get that feeling. Never did it. Never, you never think got... if you do a bitch, she going to stay solid? A hundred percent. A million percent. I would have never told you this back in the day. Yeah. A million percent. I swear to God, bro. That's that's crazy that Any you said. Any of my friends could tell you that, too. Like, yo, that's crazy that you said, like, a bitch, a bitch, like, leaving you during a bid is worse than getting shot. That's heavy. Imagine you in a can. Hold on, talk. We're not testing. Imagine you in a can. You can't even sleep at night. You up all night tossing and turning. Because you sick like that. Because you thinking about this bitch. Y'all y'all just had an argument. And you don't know what the fuck she doing right now. He's fussed out when you think about. Don't you think it's better you know, not you know, having you know, a you know John what you when you're going in there? It is. But you know what you waiting for? Why you doing that? You waiting to come out. As soon as you come out, you going to the phone. Hello? What what about what about if you when you bidding and your Jones ain't picking up their phones? Is that another situation for you, like emotionally? Depending if I love the bitch. I, if I don't love the bitch, I don't care. It is. Mm. I don't care. Like you got bitches, you got bitches to call. You got bitches that you got. Like I don't. I like now. I go to jail. I don't call no bitch. I call my main bitch. My bitch is responsible. My bitch is responsible. My bitch gonna take care. Like it's like a situation. Like this ain't no bitches like my bitch. Like it's a situation. Like I be like. Yo, baby, I need you to do this. Bang. I don't got to talk about it. She's going to get it done. My bitch, my bitch is a responsible bitch. Responsible bitch. When you got a responsible bitch, a loyal bitch, I would never leave my bitch for none of these bitches, bro. Dead dogs. Bro. That seems like a lot of maturity with you when it never. when it comes to that. Realizing what you have. Yeah, only dogs I do. Got a responsible bitch. My bitch is for me. About me. Seems like you're going to make a song about her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she told me all the time. I told her I didn't about that. Yo, all right. So enough about that and the bitches and stuff like that. Um, let's talk about some street shit real quick. How do you feel about? I'm all for it though. Niggas squashing beef with niggas from different hoods. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the trenches like y'all niggas are. Y'all niggas live a whole different lifestyle. But I like to see peace. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to wake up and see this nigga's gone and this nigga's gone. How do you feel about that niggas squashing smoke with, with, with different hoods that they used to have situations with? If y'all got any shootouts, you squash beef, you's a hoe. That's how I feel. You don't think about growing up, you know, responsibilities? Because you talk about this shit's not even worth it. It's not worth it, but you shoot at me, it's worth it. You made it worth it. There's no there's, That's there's, worth it right there. there's no forgiveness after that. 
That's the reason why when I mean like, when I mean like it's hard to get out. It's hard to get out because it's hard to get out on two sides because they not gonna let me breathe. And it's like it's a, and I'm. What about if nobody never died from it? I feel like I know niggas that I still you know you think you know shoot my man's. Yeah, you think you gonna shoot my man's, and just cause he didn't die, you gonna squash beef? Or even if I shoot your man's back, you like yo, bro, that's end it. Yeah, end it, nigga. You could have killed my man on that first trip. You stupid motherfucker. That's how I look at it. Like, but a lot of niggas done squash beef. Personals. Let's say it's not even on some like hoods and hoods. There's niggas who done shot at each other, and came to a point in their life where they don't want to be keep. Ducking and hiding and and all this PTSD where they just squash it. It happens. Though. It be sometimes be old. It be old niggas like you know nigga be girl old. I be them, bro. I know. I don't. Ain't no such thing as retired gangsters. You, you know this shit. You locked in. But gangsters are retired. You're gonna die, gangster, bro. Gangsters are retired, bro. You don't think jail reform niggas niggas come home with a different mindset? Niggas niggas do a bid and don't want to bid again, bro. Yeah, some niggas do that. You feel me? Some niggas like that. I didn't. I didn't know plenty of my friends like, like damn, I'm like, I didn't see my friend, my friends bit out like he was a he was on that boy should come home. You on different type, man. Yeah. Different type of time. I'm not gonna knock you, my nigga, but hey, like you know, I went to jail plenty of times. I came on the same nigga. We're just not the same nigga. I'm not knocking you from knocking you, but we're not on the same time, man, bro. You should know what the fuck you something. You should know what the fuck you got it. I just charge you to the game, bro. I, I swear to God, I'm big on charging you to the game. If I do something, I'll get consequence. I'm not crying. It seems like to me, like you believe that the game is the game. And you accept all the consequences that come God, with the on game. That dog's I do, bro. If it's like on that dog, you know why? One, one thing also, bro, the Jakes be like, the Jakes don't believe. The Jakes, when they, like, the Jakes, if the Jakes put me over, fuck, I like arguing with the Jakes. Fuck, I look like fighting with the Jakes. If I ain't running, that's petty shit. The fuck? What y'all gonna do? You gonna lock me up or release me, nigga? I'm going to jail, release me. You know I'll be So here. you're not rah rah when you None get pulled that, over. Bro, you pull me over, what the fuck? I know the game. Search my shit, y'all find something. Yeah, cause if I stop, I stop because I ain't got nothing. If I didn't stop, I'm going on a, I'm going on what's But I knew before I even got in this call with this, if they y'all pull me over, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna y'all gonna chase me, you feel me? I got a question for you, right? In my previous interview, and we talked about niggas not, you know, picking up their charges, and I, and I want to get like your input on this. So let's say you get pulled over, and let's there's a blick in the car, and you know whatever the situation is, how do you feel about niggas not standing up for their own shit? I don't feel nobody in this. If, if I'm in a car with you, he's a whole you my man, he's a whole game banger. Yeah. And I got the blick on me. You driving. And police pull us over. I got the blick on me. You game beggars. I'm going to tell you to go, bro. Regardless you got a license or not, they're going to fuck with us, bro. Now, if you don't go, I'm going to put this I'm gonna put this pistol under the seat. Not to my attention. I'm going to put the pistol under the seat, bro. You bugging thing. I'm going to let them just do me. Because if you don't go, you gotta better go. Nah, nigga, you feel me? But you should know as a game beggar. If, you, if my man's coming to me like, yo, bro. Yo, Ron, yo, take that charge. Fucking clown. Fucking tell me. I should use nigga your man show. Nigga, if nigga your man gotta ask your man show. If your man don't ask you, bro, I'm gonna take the charge. Don't fucking tell your man see, to take the yo, charge. See, yo, this is a good conversation. That's, that's borderline. Hold on, you wanna snitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, up, you see, nigga? you see, see, this is a good conversation. Let's talk real quick. Because I was when I was rapping in my last interview, right, with a nigga who did some time, right? A real gangster, whatever like that. Paperwork clean. And we talked about niggas not standing up for their own shit. And I and I told him, like, yo, listen, if I'm in a car with a nigga and there's a blick in the whip, let's say I'm in a car with you, and let's say you slide it, whatever, whoop de woo and they find a blick, I'm never say like, oh, this ain't my blick or whatever like that. We're going to figure it out. Oh, don't tell, oh, don't tell me, yo, bro. That's, yeah, you know oh, that's no, not. No, no, no. But if I get some alone time with you and I, you know what I'm saying, we in the cell, I'm like, yo, bro, I can't rap with you and say, Yo, bro, stand up for this. Am I no. wrong for that? Am I yes, wrong you for that? Wrong. To me, yes, you wrong for that, nigga. The fuck we gangbangers. You know what the fuck you went for, nigga? On that dog, you know what you went for, nigga. Fuck you talking about? It's, I got it, the blip. 
It, I'm the one that brought the blick out. You talk, I'm the one ready to bust and kill for both of us, nigga. And you about to sit here and tell me to take this by myself? Nigga, we supposed to go to trial and fight together as brothers, nigga. We in, I'm in your car with my blick, nigga. What are you talking about? Nah, it's good to get I your perspective. I brought the blick outside today, nigga. You feel me? Ready to go to jail for both of us, nigga. You the driver, nigga. You, but we both got to fight this, nigga. He talked about certain bodies that he caught. And there's a body that he didn't catch. And, and that's the one he got charged for. His like, man stood up for that. That's like that's like me and you going. So, so, so let's say a blick, blick charge is a easy. Body. No, no. Blick charge is easy, right? Unless there's a body on it. All right. Let's talk about a body. That's like, me, that's like me and you going in my... Me, you, and Bino. Right? For me, you, and Bino. Bino, the driver. Me, you, and Bino. Bang. Me and Bino get away. You get booked for the body. I caught the body. Yeah. You get booked for the body. You call me, yo, bro. You you didn't catch it, you, but you call me. Yo, bro, but you got booked for But you knew what the fuck we was going to do before we got in this car. Yeah. Yo, bro, you know, bro, you know, huh? You, you going to take this, bro? Like, you going to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going to come, you know? I ain't do that, bro. The fuck is you talking about, you bitch ass nigga? Now you better never fucking call me, you stupid nigga. Now, in my back of my head, I'm going to think the whole time you might fold. So as soon as you come out, I'm going to tip you, nigga. For calling me saying some stupid shit like that. It's good to get perspective. What are you talking about? You know what the fuck we going to get If I get booked for yours, and I knew what the fuck we going to get, then fuck it. I got to go fight this shit. I'm innocent. I'm going to really stay innocent. But I feel like a nigga like you who's a superstar... And you got booked for something that you wasn't supposed to get booked for. I see niggas stepping up for you, though. Just because of your potential or who you I are. I don't see niggas stepping up for me. Nah, bro. Depending on what situation this is. If I, I, I feel like maybe your emotions might change. If you get booked for something that you really didn't do, being who you, like being who you are today, in position, I think you might feel a way about it. You're going to still eat it and might not say nothing. But I feel like you, you hoping a nigga step up. But I don't look on dogs, but I don't look for niggas, bro. If it's like, I wouldn't be like, I'll, like even if I'm in the car with you, mm -hmm. your shit, bro, when I got to go for your shit, whatever, bro. When I'm a good guy. Dog, he's bro. been he's been using me as an example a lot. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Christian guy. <laughs> it's just examples. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you, I feel like a nigga like you, I feel like you got to be in that position. You know, you, you have potential, so you don't think, like you would hope a nigga to step up. I'm not saying you would tell or ask a nigga to step up, but you wouldn't hope for that, though. Depending like, no, the, you didn't do it. on the situation, like if I got like, like I'm, I got three pistol cases open right now. Fuck if, if, if you don't got none, I can't put the case. If you can, if you, I'm, I'm like, you know, bro, might think, you know. But if you don't on that dogs, I wouldn't. You ain't gonna feel away. None of that, bro. Cause I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Fuck, I like taking. Fuck, I look like Elvin over some shit that we both knew what the fuck was yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, that's real. We going to fight, nigga. Like when you say it like that, we all gangsters and we know what we signed fuck up with. Them. We know yeah. what come with this shit. We can't expect niggas to step up for certain shit because it is what it is. It's what we signed up for. It it is what it I is. I realize on dogs, when, um, nigga, when your mom say you are gonna be dead in jail, she's really serious, bro. Niggas, everybody right here done been in jail already. We just ain't down yet. <laughs> you remember you gonna and die, we, and we all gonna die in this room. You gonna it's die to when you we jump. All. I'm talking about when you jump in a game. You gonna die or go to jail? It's two things. It's all gonna happen. I already yeah. been in jail. I just ain't die. Yet. You remember? Me? Um, Mom, Dukes was a lion. It's just crazy. Before we wrap this shit up, man, and um, as far as the music and you're doing features, is there anybody you want to work with? Is there? Is there? You know. Hopefully, um, um, I did contact my man Millie. You know, hopefully, got the tape dropping soon. Dance with the devil. Hopefully, get my man. Millie's put you on it yeah, on his joint. I, I fuck with Millie's heavy man. Definitely respect the shit you're doing. Yeah, I'm uh, and you know I know you and G Nip has been going at it a little <laughs> bit on the internet and all that. I'm gonna make sure y'all get right, man. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all figure it just out, music. man. I, I don't care. Music. You know I, mean? I ain't yeah. I don't hate nigga. I don't yeah. Care. Yeah, I got I, beef out here. Honestly, I feel like there's so much talent out here, and I know there's certain beef that can never be squashed, never be resolved because it's deep in the rap and all that. But I feel like certain shit can be talked over. And a nigga like you, I, you know, you've been talking spicy on records and shit like that. But I just hope, man, you can really just make it so you're not even involved in this shit no more. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. 
I'm get the fuck out of here. You never regret nothing you say on, on wax? It, it, once you like, you like, damn, like, like, damn, like, yo, fuck I took no. it too far. Fuck no, bro. I mean, everything I said about them bitch ass niggas, bro. Oh you don't think God. things ever get too disrespectful? Do you ever take things personal when the when, when the beef say something? I don't care what the beef say. That's, that's their job, bro. If the beef call me and say, y'all smoking a dumb man's, I won't feel no type of way. That's your job. If a regular nigga call me, self smoking a dumb man's, I'm coming to see you, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. So you expect the disrespect to be. Yeah. Well, that's, you hate me. You be for my. We just smoked your man. That's my only problem with drill music. I feel like drill music is, is who gets the most disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even be rapping. Niggas just be trying to say the most disrespectful shit they could say. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I don't like about drill yeah, music. That's people facts. When you speak facts, that's when it really go crazy. That's when niggas get your views, bro. That's what people understand, bro. Certain niggas ain't getting views because certain niggas ain't speaking facts, bro. Before this music, I had a name before music, bro. My first video I did was 300K, bro. It's at 300 k bro. Not because you think I just had an eight song. I own Dead Dogs. I had a name before music, bro. And um, are you vaccinated before we get off? You vaccinated? Nah. I <laughs> nah, a nigga like you, I got to ask that. You done did so much shit. You done shot at niggas, got shot. You fucking bitches raw. And a nigga like you don't is not vaccinated? I ain't vaccinated. Why? You scared to get vaccinated? Shorty, how about Shorty set me up an appointment? And she said, baby, it's in Washington Park. I said, you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> she's a square, though. She, she. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking yeah. sit and wait. She yeah. She's I a like square. You got a square chick. But her, but her her tensions is good. Would you ever get vaccinated, though? Yeah, don't get me wrong. God. Yeah, I definitely get I gotta go. I do everything out the city, bro. I'm not, I, don't, I don't fuck around, bro. Nah, I'm talk to the mic. I do. I don't fuck around. I'm not doing, I do everything out the city, bro. Nigga, there's a fucking CVS in JP. You can, you good. I didn't even know you could get vaccinated. I yeah, you, you, you have could. One because it, you know it's crazy. I like to ask you because you a gangster, and it's like niggas done did everything else. Niggas will fucking fuck bitches raw. You know what I'm saying? Shoot at niggas broad daylight and do all. But niggas are afraid to get vaccinated. Like no, I don't I'm get not afraid it. Afraid of it? I just don't. I'll be, I'll be having time. But I'll be. Busy, <laughs> and nigga had I had to cover on it three times, bro. And I was I was coughing heavy I was earlier. Outside every day with the. Corona, he was coughing bro. heavy earlier. That's why I asked about the vaccine. The puff ball. I was outside every day. Why you was coughing heavy earlier? That's why I asked you I about vaccinating. That's because that's, that's the gas in the pump. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we get off air, we got a lot of gas over here. They didn't put the PK pack up here. These <laughs> these niggas smoke PK. No too. way, Jose. These okay. these niggas smoke PK. Give your shout outs before we get off air, bro. Heavy hitters, man. Heavy hitters, man. And get your yoo hoo for my man Scotty. Yoo hoo's fire. You ain't, niggas ain't taste that with yet. My man Scotty's. Shit's white fire. Boy, some white boy I, I met. Port the fire. Any, any, fire. any, any shot? Hold on. Before, how, what time we on right now? How much time? Uh, where we at? Uh, hour 10. Hour 10, right? Probably the last five minutes. I want to talk about some real quick before I forget project shit, right? And we talk about getting money in the projects. Mm-hmm. And, 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 Dude, niggas, niggas be doing their own thing. Everybody got their own situations going on. Do niggas ever get caught up in their feelings yeah, when it comes to that shit? Get caught up in their feelings. Mm-hmm. Because you feel me? You got them scamming niggas that, that hate hustlers. I done took niggas plays before. <laughs> niggas don't catch no beef over that? Even though y'all niggas fuck with each other, niggas don't catch no beef? Nah, I don't think niggas will be mad. I don't no. Nah, that ain't no beef, no. Nah. I done took niggas plays before. Like... I got go- Especially when niggas I go to man. jail Niggas probably be happy Yo hold on When niggas go to jail I feel like when niggas go to jail Nigga might be happy Like on the low on Your dog. man's on the low Might be happy Cause you might hey, to yo. eat Hey yo on dogs I was just talking about Yo foreign On dogs If you know you know Me and my man was talking about When I was bucked Niggas was happy When I was in jail nigga. <laughs> Niggas are eating <laughs> niggas are eating. Do you catch feelings? You can't catch feelings, but niggas gotta at least send something while you book though. If they if they fucking with your aunties and all that, niggas gotta send something. <laughs> <laughs> niggas gotta send something for you, bro, in the books. But um, give a quick shout out, man, before we sign out, man. You know, ain't no the vibe, man. I'm gonna shout out to my um, you know, Free Moolah. That's my dog. You know, Free Max, man. Fat babies. 
Anything you got coming, talk about some projects you got coming got and all take that. Coming, my take coming soon, man. Dancing with the devil, man. I'm talking about 20 songs. Straight fire. Mm, Billy singing, straight rap, straight balls, real shit, man, you know? Definitely got my man Mozzie on the on the tape, my man Paco on the tape. Show my man Paco from Cambridge, man. That's my man. And you know, definitely I got some I got some artists definitely. My man Big Beano baby, man, you know. You rapping too? Okay. Yeah, from a shooter to a rapper, man. Oh, okay, it's okay. I thought thing. he was a straight gangster. You know. Everybody good, man. You see how you see how Dark did, man. Yeah, and we got Dark a free, 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 um, my, my, my young bull, too, man. Miss, um, Missle, free yeah, big Missle, Missle, man. We got a fr- free, free dog, man. We got you 100K know? on that. We got over 100K on every song we did together. Yeah, shout out to him, man. It was a great interview, man. I'm happy you was able to open up and, and, and get on your light skin nigga shit when it came to the bitches and all that. And, um, you know, I know how you give it up, bro. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of yours. I think you're one of the hottest in the city, if not the hottest in the city or whatever like that. Keep doing your thing, man. I just hope everything works out, bro. You get out the you get out the Jets, bro. You know that. Well, definitely. Man. You know that. And stay out of it. fucking jail, too, bro. Fine, too, <laughs> Signing out is BNF Podcast. You know what it is. Gang. <laughs> Good energy, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man.